What is going on you legends and legendettes of the interwebs? My name as always is Transcore Van and welcome back to the Not So Daily Vlog. We are up to vlog number 71 and it is of course Thursday the 14th of August and it, today is going to be tra Trash's Trash Talking Thing. We got it out eventually. And it's going to be the last video I upload before probably Sunday night slash Monday because obviously we're going away from my mum's wedding. So super excited for that. But uh, today's Trash Trance's trash talking thing is going to be about cinemas. Uh, me and Harriet recently, no, he said, in fact, we went last night to go watch Guardians of the Galaxy. It was an amazing film. Um, but it made me pick up on things that really irritate me about cinemas, hence why I'm doing the video today. So, point one how expensive the bloody food is. Uh, you go there, you're already paying an arm and a leg to buy the cinema ticket just to go watch the new film that's out and you, you know you're gonna get thirsty you're gonna get hungry for like the two hours or however long your chosen movie is and you go up to the cashier you think oh yeah I'd really like that that and that but then once you've paid for it you feel like you need to take out a loan to survive the rest of the week with because food is just so so expensive and um, here I think it's or like in, the, in our local cinema, it's roughly around sort of like six, seven pounds for um, a large popcorn, and it, that's just way too extortionate for my liking. And um, obviously, with, with the drinks as well, they're, they're reasonably expensive as well. And then, let's be honest, most of the time they're going to be gone before you even get to the movie, like. You're going to be thirsty before you get it, you're going to start drinking it, and then you're not going to want to stop, and then as soon as the advertisements are over, you realise you haven't got your drink to last you for the next two to three hours, or however long the movie is. Which then kind of brings me on to a second point, which is point two, and that is, of course, the advertisements. Advertisements are, okay, I get that they are there to sort of I advertise ironically enough but who the hell is going to want to buy a new KA fucking automobile that's going to cost you 15 grand no one exactly that goes to our local cinemas or goes to a local local cinema is going to be rich let's be honest if they are rich they will watch the movies in their private cinema at their condo on the edge of god knows where and you know, we're not exactly going to start bashing out our checkbooks as soon as the film's over. You'll be like, right, I'm going to take this down to my local dealership tomorrow, and I'm going to buy that car. I can get that it's their advertisements are there to sort of chuck product placement in our faces, but it doesn't really need to be at the beginning of a film that doesn't even involve cars, if that makes sense. And um, there's also one advertisement that we have at our local cinema I don't know if it's like it anywhere else but um, it's a an event cinema advertisement and like at the beginning it's like do you think that you know cinema and it then just comes in with the most loudest and annoying drum and bass track you will ever know before in your life I mean bear in mind this is an advertisement for ballet and live co um, sort of live indie concerts that can be shown in your local cinema, ironically enough. But most of them are like um, Russian operas or ballets and all this lot. And it's like this track really does not go with the you know the, the show that you're trying to advertise here. Why is this the soundtrack? And don't get me wrong. At first, I really enjoyed it because I like my double that drum and bass slash dubstep all that lot along with my ordinary stuff. But once you go to the cinema and it's then every time that you hear it, it just becomes really irritating. It starts getting drilled into your skull. The best thing to do is not go there when you feel like you're coming on with a headache because just after that advertisement, you're going to probably leave with a migraine. Not just because of the film, but because of that one advertisement. So that's really annoying. And then you all sat down in your seat, you're ready to watch the film. Then you get people that turn up late to a film. I'm, I'm baffled about how people don't cannot look into this day and age about the specific times of a movie. 
our film last night was at 10.30. And don't, I'll, I'll give him props, it was just before the film started, so we'll allow that. But at 5 minutes to 11, and you're literally just sat down, you've already missed out on the really cool trailers, so I'm not going to lie. You know, that, that's a sin in itself. But when you're turning up late to a film, when everybody sat down, they're ready to get on, and then they then have to try and squeeze past next to you just to sit down in that one available seat, even though there's a whole cinema full of empty seats and you just want to see it right next to us, that can get really tedious. You should have turned up on time, mate, or a lady, or children, however way you want to look at it. And then, this is mainly specific with Marvel films, I will point this out now, but when people start standing up just before they give a teaser, this happened to us last night and this is the one thing that really grinds, grinds my gears, we all just sitting down, waiting to see what the next sort of teaser of the next Marvel film will be, and... We had two people that just wanted to stand up, literally in both mine and Harriet's field of vision. We could only see their shadow, and yeah, it. I was so close to knocking them out. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a violent person, but when someone is just standing there in front of you, in front of the sit, like when you're trying to watch the film, and then or the next teaser, you know, if you've ever been to Marvel films before, you will know that no matter what film it is. There is always going to be a teaser, unless it was X Men: Days of Future Past, or was it? Yeah. It was one of the films that I watched that we had watched, and then it was just a Days of Future Past trailer at the end of it. That was pretty pointless. But um, you know that there's going to be a teaser, and yeah, people still like to stand up right in front of you know. Screw everyone that's behind them, but you know you don't need to stand up in order to see the clip better. It's just unnecessary at all. But other than that, guys, I think that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I feel like I rambled on enough. And, yeah. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for me today, guys. My name, as always, has been Trance Core Van. Hit that like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. Hit me up on my personal accounts, which is my Facebook, my Twitter, my Google+, and my Tumblr. Which, as always, are in the links down below, along with my boys, AGTV, Goose Perception, and Dead Hayden. And they're all in the links down below as well. I'd like to thank you to 141 subscribers. And your name is... Maria the Hooligan. Thank you ever so much for subscribing to it. Welcome to the TTV family. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. And as always, guys, I will see you Sunday slash Monday. Cue the outro. I love your faces. Peace out. Bye.